everyone this is dr jyoti bala i welcome you all on my youtube channel in this session we will be discussing about a very significant subject that is artificial intelligence and how it is impacting the biotech sector so as you all are witnessing the significant revolution in the field of ai and machine learning so it is also impacting our biology and biological sector so let's try to explore this promising area as you know artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science that aims to create machine that perform tasks that are typically require human intelligence such as perception decision making and learning in the recent time you all are witnessing that ai has made a significant advancement and leading to its increasing application in various field including a biology and biotech in biology AI can be used to analyze large amount of biological data such as genetic data to identify patterns and potential drug target. For example, AI algorithm can be used to analyze genetic makeup of disease such as cancer and to identify specific gene or mutation that are associated with these kind of diseases. This can aid in the development of new treatment and therapies. Additionally, in biotech, AI can be used to optimize and automate laboratory processes such as protein folding prediction, gene editing, and synthetic biology. For example, AI can be used to predict 3D structures of protein and other macromolecules which can aid in the development of new targets. AI can also be used in gene editing to enhance the precision and the efficiency of the process. AI can also be used to assist in the design of new experiments. For example, AI algorithm can be used to simulate the behavior of the biological system and to predict the outcome of different experimental design. This can support in the optimization of experiment and also reduce the need of expensive and time-consuming laboratory testing. These days, AI is also increasingly used in the field of medical imaging such as CT, MRI and ultrasound to assist in the diagnosis of the disease. For example, AI can be used to analyze medical images to identify patterns that may indicate the presence of diseases such as tumor or to assist the interpretation of the images to aid the diagnosis. Overall, the use of AI in biology and biotech can help to accelerate the research and also to improve the accuracy and efficiency of various tasks and thereby aid in the development of new treatment and therapies. With the increasing amount of large biological data generated in the field of biology and biotech and bioIT, AI has the potential to revolutionize the way we understand biology and biomedical sector. It's important to remember that learning AI is an ongoing process and it takes time to become a proficient in such areas as this is new to the biological community. It's also important to stay up to date with the latest development in the field of reading research papers and attending conferences. We at Molexera Informatics and our collaborator DigiBiomic Canada also provide latest training and courses related to AI and machine learning and how you can use these significant sector for the biological application. So any one of you who are interested in learning these courses or maybe for collaboration, you can contact us. So moving ahead, here are five examples of trending AI based research in the biology and biotech sector. So number one, the biomedical sector and the drug discovery and designing area where you can use AI and machine learning. These days, scientists and researchers are using deep learning algorithm to analyze large amount of chemical and biological data to predict the potential efficacy and toxicity of a new drugs. This can also aid in the development of new treatment and therapies. AI can also be assisted in gene editing. Researchers and scientists are using AI algorithm to assist in the design and optimization of CRISPR-based gene editing, which can enhance the precision and efficiency of the process. AI-based medical imaging is also a significant area. Researchers are using AI to analyze medical images to detect and diagnose diseases such as cancer, heart diseases, Alzheimer. AI can support in the early detection and the treatment of uh, other diseases also. AI also assists in the lab automation. As you know, researchers are using AI to optimize and automate the laboratory processes such as protein folding prediction, gene editing, synthetic biology, which can improve the accuracy and efficiency of these tasks. AI also assists in the drug reproposing. As you can use AI to analyze large amount of biological data to identify new potential uses of existing drugs, which can speed up the development of new treatment and therapy. 
these are just a few examples of many ways that AI is being used in the biology and biotech sector to aid in research, improve the diagnostic accuracy and speed up the development of new treatments and therapy. So as I mentioned, it is important to note that AI-based research is rapidly evolving field and new development and application are always emerging all the time. So without any doubt, AI is helping in accelerating our research. AI-based tools can help to analyze the large amount of data quickly and efficiently, which can speed up the pace of research and discovery in the biology and biotech sector. So without any doubt, AI can help us to accelerate the research, improving the diagnostic accuracy, optimizing the laboratory processes. It also helps us in identifying the new drug target. It also enhances the drug development process. It helps us to improve the personalized medicine as AI-based tools can be used to analyze large amount of genetic data to identify the personalized treatment option for individual patient. It also reduces the need of animal testing. AI-based tools can be used to simulate the behavior of the biological system, which can reduce the need of expensive and time-consuming laboratory testing on animals. It can also lower the cost of the research. AI-based tool can help to optimize and automate laboratory processes, which can reduce the cost of the research and development. AI also improves the efficiency of the lab workflow. AI-based tool can help to automate repetitive tasks such as data entry and analysis, which can improve the efficiency of lab workflow. And finally, it also helps in identifying new uses of existing drugs. So if you are a biologist who are interested and who are keen to learn AI, yes, as a biotechnologist and as a biologist, you can learn AI at any stages. And there are many resources available for them to start learning. Let me give you a roadmap how as a beginner you can start learning AI, especially if you are from biology background. I would suggest you to understand the basic first. Start by learning the fundamentals of AI including machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. As I mentioned, there are many online resources such as tutorial courses, which provide basic introduction concepts. You can also reach us if you are interested to join our courses. At the fundamental level, you don't require programming, but if you really want to come at intermediate and the advanced level, you need to know the programming language. So. Try to learn programming language as well, which is going to support you in your AI-based projects. As you know, AI requires programming. So it is essential to learn programming language that is commonly used in AI, such as Python. We also provide Python training for biologists and biotechnologists and also Python-based research projects. So if you are either interested in learning AI or Python, you may contact us. Uh, moving ahead, it is also important to learn about the data science because data science is an essential part of AI as it involves cleaning, analyzing and visualizing the data. So biologists should also familiarize themselves with the data science tools and techniques such as Panda. And alongside this, you should also know the application of AI and biology because biology itself is a vast subject. Learn about the specific application of AI in the biology, such as drug discovery, gene editing, medical imaging, and so on. So depending on from which background you are coming in, you can utilize AI. With our experience, we have seen a lot of students and researchers are interested in using AI in the clinical research, in the drug discoveries and designing processes, and also in the gene editing. So depending on from which background you are coming, you can use AI in your field. And the next one is very important. You should be aware of all the ethical issues and norms. As you know, AI is becoming more prevalent in the various fields. It is also important to understand the ethical issues surrounding it, such as data privacy and bias. And the sixth one, which is very important, we as a biologist are very new to the programming, AI, machine learning. So it is very important to do a practical exercises Practice as much as it is possible. Practice coding or building project using AI. Start with small project and work your way up to the more complex projects. And make your network and join communities which are AI enthusiasts and biologists. So such as online forum, you can also join a local group and meetups and you can connect with other learners and experts. This will help you to stay motivated and get feedback on your work. 
I hope you have liked the session. And if you are looking to learn about more latest advancement in the AI and how they can help you and how they can be applied in the field of biology and biotech, so you may reach us for our Indo-Canada training and research project. Our course is designed especially for the biologists who have little or no prior experience in AI machine learning. Here in this course and project, we provide a comprehensive introduction to the fundamental of AI, including machine learning and deep learning and, and neural networks. Our course also covers a specific application of AI in the biology, such as drug discovery, gene editing, and clinical research, so that you can understand how AI can be used to solve the problem in this field. Our course is taught by expert in both biology and AI, ensuring that you will receive most up-to-date and accurate information. Additionally, this course provides hands-on experience through coding and building projects using AI, giving you the opportunity to practice what you have learned here. By the end of this course, you will be having a solid understanding of the basic AI and how it can be applied in the field of biology, as well as the knowledge and the skill to begin using AI in your own research. Don't miss out this opportunity to stay ahead of the curve and join. So don't miss out this opportunity to stay ahead of the curve and join our course. Thank you for watching.